one of the big things that I don't like about the seasonal ranking system is the fact that you reset down to level one every single time there's a new season. You can put all this time into grinding out and ranking up in the game, but then it'll just reset back to level one come the next season. So if you're like me and you want to get back up to master prestige, use those level 200 bonuses like the custom prestige icons and things like that. You'll probably want to do it as quick as possible. So today we're going to run down the best ways that you can rank up and fast within Black Ops Cold War and Warzone. So as we go along, let me know your thoughts down below. Below. Is there anything in particular that you think would really work well in this list that we didn't quite cover? Feel free to let me know your tips down below. And as well, if you enjoy the video, make sure to drop a like down below. If you also are new to the channel and want to stay busy with all things Warzone, Cold War, and anything COD related, hit that subscribe button as we're on that road to half a million. So I'd love to have you within the community. And also a thank you to Current, the future of banking, for sponsoring this video, but more on them in a little bit. That said, let's jump right into it. So let's start out with your overall level here because there's a few more things here in terms of what we'll talk about for ranking up weaponry. First thing, one of the biggest things that you can't avoid when ranking up is simply time. Unless you mod your account, which I would never recommend doing unless you're trying to put yourself on the chopping block for a ban, you're always going to need to invest some time into playing the game. But outside of that, there's a few ways that you can at least speed things up to use your time more efficiently. First, one of the things that not many will really consider all that much, especially because a lot of players moved on to Cold War in November, is that one of the old tips from Modern Warfare is still one of the best ways to do this. This tip is a little bit more finite. I'll say that right up front because there's no more ways to earn more trial keys when ranking up, if I'm not mistaken, like you could in Modern Warfare's main year of support. But if you're like me, you likely have a ton of keys saved up. So if you remember this strat from last year, there were a few different ways in different trials that you could net yourself a crazy amount of XP, about 11,000 XP a minute, but you can get even more than that. The very basis of this, there's a few preferred, but my favorite is Operation Speedball, where you're tasked with shooting targets as fast as you can. And if you're really good at it, you can finish this in anywhere from 25 to 40 seconds each run through to get yourself the highest rating and highest XP yield. Add in about 10 seconds in and out for infill and exfill for those loading menus, and you've got yourself about 11,000 XP every minute on average. But I did say you could get more because with double XP, you can end up doing all of this and then bam, suddenly double that total to 22,000 XP every minute within these trial runs. But Jordan, that's for Modern Warfare, right? Well, it was, but that's the beauty of this wild year that is Call of Duty. Right now, Cold War, Warzone, and Modern Warfare are all being supported in some capacity. Modern Warfare kind of being a little bit lesser, but we did see some introductions recently in terms of content, but they're all sharing the same ranking system. Albeit, Cold War definitely gets the cooler things like those custom prestige emblems and the likes for hitting the rank of 200 plus, but the systems are all shared so that progression in Cold War progresses Modern Warfare and Warzone and vice versa. Kind of a no-brainer, but it's something that utilizes some of the best XP yields that you can get because it's something tucked away in the not-so-main focus game anymore. So you may not actively think about this way, but it is still phenomenal. So check that out, give it a shot, and earn yourself some nice XP. A side note, that's actually a great method also for quickly ranking up your battle pass as well, though it's not going to be something that you progress from 1 to 100, anything crazy like that, but you can get a couple of extra tiers pretty quickly. The battle pass primarily progresses on time, but also was confirmed by developers as of last year to somewhat rely on XP, but it's actually more so in XP clusters. So the more XP you get in a shorter period of time, that's where you're going to see the battle pass progression go faster than somebody who was maybe say AFK for that same amount of time. So you may be able to breeze through about like a half a dozen tiers or something like that, but nothing crazy like your regular rank levels and in a larger quantity. Definitely something worth noting though. Another thing though that you may not actively think about is that double XP token are shared, but not entirely connected. So you can get a little bit more out of your XP tokens that you may not realize. But before we jump into that, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about today's sponsor, Current. Current is an easy to use mobile bank that gives you your very own Visa card. To me, it's the banking of the future. Now there's a lot of cool features with this one. One of the coolest being that it gets you paid up to two days faster with their direct deposit methods. So that means that if your money normally deposits on a Friday, you can get that up to a Wednesday with Current. Who doesn't like money quicker? There's no hidden fees with current, no minimum balance needed, no overdraft fees, and even overdraft up to $100. If you want some perks, they got them. You can earn points on purchases, and what's nice is that current's also available to use with 
over 55,000 free ATMs across the world. I hate nothing more than having to go to an ATM and it charges me a crazy fee. So it's nice that Current works with a ton around the world that you don't have to worry about that with. You can deposit your checks, add cash, get instant holds on things like gas, and instantly be able to send and receive money. So no pesky delays that other banks normally would have in place. Send or receive that money immediately. Current works with all major cash applications like Apple Pay, Google Pay, Cash App, and Venmo. So whether or not it's your first bank account or you're just looking for another one, Current is a phenomenal choice. If you're interested in learning more, click the link in the description below to check them out. But back to that discussion about the double XP tokens, let's take a look at what we have in Cold War versus what we have in Modern Warfare, and you'll see that disconnect. So in Cold War, I currently have four 15-minute double weapon XP tokens, two 30-minute double weapon XP tokens, three 45-minute double weapon XP tokens and six one hour double XP tokens along with regular XP tokens of 10 15 minutes 230 minutes 445 minutes and 16 one hour double XP tokens but if we jump over to modern warfare and warzone well I currently have in the double weapon XP category 12 15 minutes 11 30 minutes 12 45 minutes and 10 one hour double weapon xp tokens but when it comes to regular ranking up i have 26 15 minute double xp tokens 12 30 minute double xp tokens 13 45 minute double xp tokens and a whopping 37 hour double xp tokens with a random one hour battle pass token too so that's two and a half days of double xp versus like some 20 some hours so how does this discrepancy work? Why do I have more here within Modern Warfare and Warzone? Well, it's due to the initial rank integration that happened around Season 1. And you may actually recall that you had some trouble potentially with your XP tokens around then. And if my memory serves me correctly, those tokens were actually wiped initially. But at the same time, that's actually a legal breach that wasn't done on purpose. I can basically guarantee that since people likely bought at some point something that led to a token, whether it be a battle pass activation fee or a bundle, they can't legally take those away. But there was a second where they were momentarily wiped but bringing it back up to speed you now have more within warzone and modern warfare because those ones were from a year beforehand but they still act exactly the same as a regular double xp token so if you exhaust all your things within cold war go back to modern warfare and warzone and check to see that you don't have more because there's a very high probability that you could so you end up getting even more double xp that you can play around with that you may not necessarily check on immediately and the nice part, again, because these experiences are connected, you activate that in Modern Warfare and Warzone, it will then transfer to Black Ops Cold War and vice versa. You just may have more to use within Modern Warfare and Warzone. Outside of that, seasonal challenges are a brilliant way to also rank up this time around within Black Ops Cold War and Warzone because they work a little differently than what we saw as of last year. It's not one challenge per level in your rank, but you have a little bit of a buffer to complete those if you want to go at them in terms of sequential order and as soon as you unlock them. You get a challenge every 10 levels this time now as opposed to every one level. What's different is that unlike Modern Warfare Seasonal Level, you don't cap out on rank, so you don't lose that potential for XP at any point unless you reach level 1000. So doing these are actually beneficial this time around as you rank up and you have a little bit of time that you're not overlapping into a new challenge or new level space because it is a 10 level increment. So play around with those, but the next and final thing we'll talk about here in relation to best rank up tips is something that helps not only your overall level, but also your weapon level and has been incredible incredibly helpful in terms of ranking up weapons, especially the new ones of the PPSH and the Swiss K31. This, if you're not somebody like me that enjoys playing Cold War's MP too much, this is a fantastic way to rank up these new weapons without really even having to do anything. This being a way of farming contracts within Warzone and more specifically, Plunder. You can do this in BR and such, but it's not necessarily something I would recommend over doing it in Plunder. But for this, you want to do as many contracts as possible. The easiest of these being those things like your supply runs or maybe even recons. The way that my team divided it up whenever we did this was we ended up going for two, maybe three helicopters, though I would definitely recommend as many as possible. Then we would just activate as many supply runs as we could in certain areas of the map. Whoever was closest then went and then completed that contract by either getting out at the buy station or just simply flying over it in that sort of vicinity bubble you can be in when completing it. When you do these, the more and more of them you do, you end up getting not only extra cash as that 
sort of bonus here for it, but it also incrementally increases the XP that it gives you as a player, but also to the weapon that you're holding at that current time. Now, it can be something that you are out of the vehicle, you can end up getting out and activating it manually, but even if you're in a helicopter, it logs whatever weapon is still equipped here with you, and it gives XP towards that as well. So you end up being able to not only progress your soldier rank, but also your weapon rank incredibly fast. For comparison here, the first game that we did in which it was kind of a dud of a game, if I'm honest with you, it wasn't as good as the other ones that we had done, but I had gone with my PPSH from level one to level 14 in about a 13 minute time frame. Then playing some longer games here, some more fuller games of around 22 to 23 minutes on average for the rest. My second game, I went from rank 14 to 30. And then in the third game from 30 to 36, though that difference in sheer number of ranking is due to the amount of XP that incrementally becomes more and more as the weapon is higher ranked. But you can still see that within under an hour's time frame, I went from level one to 36 in a weapon level. Now, granted, you will want to make sure you have a double XP token activated here for this, but it helps out so much. That would normally take in, say, Cold War MP, even out of game with menus and everything like that, probably around three to four hours of game time to get up to that level. So it helps out so much. Definitely jump into this here with that. But that to me is my really four biggest tips here I have for ranking up not only your soldier and overall rank, but also your weapon XP and weapon ranks as well. So that said, that's where we're gonna wrap it up. I would love to get your thoughts and feedback down there in the comment section down below. Do you guys have any tips that you would like to share that you think would make it very beneficial to players using that method? Leave them down there in the comment section down below, but let me know your thoughts overall. Do these help you out in any way, shape, or form? If they did, let me know about it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe so you miss a single thing regarding all things Warzone, Cold War, anything COD related. We got you covered here on the channel. So if you guys are interested, hit that subscribe button. If you guys also want to follow me over on Twitter and Instagram, those are the best places to get Kekamots out of YouTube. Probably live on both those. If you guys want to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, that link is down there in the description below. That said, thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.